Hey, what's up? How's it going, everyone? So today we are going to be putting together a EV model kit. Now, model kits are very popular in Japan, but I personally have never done one before. So this is going to be my first time putting one together. And yeah, I got this model kit from a friend and I'm kind of looking forward to putting it together because it looks fun. It looks cute. And yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And yeah, let's just get started. All right. So here's the model kit. As you can see on the front, you got EV sleeping. The type of model kit, I think this is called Plamo, like Pokemon Plamo from Bandai that's what it should be called it is number seven in the series I'll try and find a picture of like the other Pokemon in this series so you guys could kind of like compare and contrast so anyway this is Eevee it says right here you can just snap it together by hand fits in finish one two three very easy this is meant for kids to put together but I am an adult and I'm gonna be putting it together so here on the side you know you just got some information on the bottom you got Eevee looking all cute again on the side right here you got you know Eevee with Pikachu over here again a one two three step process snap by hand fit it in very very simple and then on the top you got eb sleeping again bandai number seven all right so let's open this up and put it together man let's see how it looks like in person and like i said i got this from a friend you know it was a present i've never done these before these model kits so it'll be my first time and i'm kind of looking forward to it you know to see like what this is all about so here's just some like additional information if you could read any japanese you could read that that's how the inside looks like just a bunch of parts it looks kind of complicated man just from the first glance it does look complicated but I really don't think it should be that complicated take that out and then right here you got the instructions written right on the box it doesn't look like a simple one two three it looks like a one two three four five step process and then right here you got some additional information it looks like all right so let's open this package up and see what's up oh check this out all right, so this is going to be for like his ears and his paws, I think. I think those are his paws. All right, I'm going to put that to the side for now. Here are these pieces right here and then these pieces. Okay, so obviously I'm going to have to take these out from like the, the little plastic holder. I mean, they're pretty simple to pull apart. I mean, they're on there, but they're not on there like that tight. You just got to twist it a little bit. Yeah, it twists and comes off very easy. All right, here. I don't know how to take this piece out. Oh, yeah, that's very easy, man. All of that comes off easy. So let me do the rest of this real quick and then I'll get on to the next part of putting it together okay so I made a slight mistake this is a2 I think I should have started with a1 this is a1 right here so I'm gonna set a2 pieces to the side and we're gonna start with a1 so I'm gonna put that to the side for now and don't worry guys while I'm doing this like it feels like you're gonna snap these pieces but these pieces are pretty durable so don't worry about breaking it it comes off pretty easy and if you do have to use some force it's okay you're not gonna break anything I mean these are pretty durable yeah see like I'm, I'm being kind of rough with it so and you can see everything's coming out okay nothing has broken everything's fine all right so there's a one all right so let's see let's see let's see step one shit all right so for future references when you guys are doing this don't be like me don't be dumb um like i said i didn't see the a2 or the a1 and i also didn't see that there was numbers right here on the side like number 10 number 8 number 9 and this is what happens when you don't pay attention man i didn't pay attention and now here we are and i think i messed up a little bit but i can figure it out it's no problem so anyway on the instructions it says go to the a2 board right here this board right here and you're gonna put number eight and number six together and then number seven together so i mean right there it tells you how to put it together using the number system but because i didn't read the instructions i already took off all the pieces so i'm just gonna figure it out using my eyes and because i think i can figure this out all right so let's look at the pieces all right so obviously evie putting his face together not too complicated you got his face right here and obviously this piece right here is the back of his head and yeah that should go in pretty easily i think yeah boom very easy huh okay so i skipped a step because you know like i said i don't read the instructions so step one and again you gotta go by the step numbers so step one says you gotta put that little black piece inside evie's head and like as you can see i already put his head together so i gotta open this back up yeah see it comes out like don't don't be afraid to be a little bit rough with it so anyway step one says you gotta grab this black piece right here and you gotta line up like uh, his face with like like i think these are meant to be like his his eyes kind of so you're gonna line up these two little holes right here with like these two little holes right here it should be pretty straightforward just like that boy that slides right in all right now we could get the back of his head and put that back on 
boom, snaps in place. All right, so step three. Step three says you're gonna put the ears together. So we got one of the ears right here, the brown part. And yeah, you just snap these little holes into these little holes and it should go in pretty easily, man. That's easy money right there. There's one and where's number two? Here's number two. So there you go, the ears. All right, so the next step, is attaching the ears to the head this should slide right in i believe let's see come on oh yeah that slides in easy boy man see i can do this too man kids kids got nothing on me man oh yeah look at that dude that snaps in easily that's looking very cute right there the next step is step number two attaching the body man i can do that so here is two body parts very big pieces line them right up and it should snap in look at that oof oof man i'm like a professional out here dude all right so the next step is number three and it says you're gonna attach his paws so these are gonna be his back legs here are the two little legs right here and just gonna put them in right there all right so there's one and here's the second one man all of this just slides in easy man this is i like this it's kind of like legos i guess in a way where you're like snapping pieces together and it's just like satisfying like oddly satisfying all right so the next step is number four and it's going to be attaching like his little fur pieces these are all the pieces i've left anyway it's just these pieces right here the round fur part is gonna go right here that looks right right again man like these these are numbered but i i didn't look at the numbers so <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, it's no problem. All right, so here's this other fur piece. Yeah, it goes right there on the side. This other fur piece is his tail, I think. Uh, no, 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 I was wrong, I was wrong. This other fur piece right here, obviously it matches up with these two holes up here. And boom, connects beautifully. And now we got the tail. All right, the tail pieces are these two right here. Okay, well this one has these two little slots right here. They line up with these slots right here. Slides right in. Oh man, like the way it slides in, man, is smooth. It goes in smoothly. Okay, this piece right here is like the bottom of his fur. Yeah, that makes sense. And boom, it just snaps in, man. And then the final step is attaching his head. And then right here at the end, it says Kansei. I don't know what that means, but yes, sir, Kansei. So we got the body right here, the head right here. Okay, it's like, it's like that. Oof, look at that, man. Look at that. That is a sleeping Eevee looking very cute and adorable. And yeah, man, that was very easy. I mean, I made it a little bit complicated just because, you know, I took out the pieces before looking at the number system. I do have one more thing I gotta put on. These stickers right here. I almost forgot about them. So the stickers right here on the side, it tells you where to put them. So it looks like you put all four stickers on his paws. So hopefully I don't mess this up. And the only thing I find a little bit strange is that this sticker right here goes on his lower paws, but his lower paws have like a little hole right here, which is kind of weird. I don't understand why they made this little hole right here, like this little dent. Like if you're gonna put a sticker on there, might as well cover it up, right? Oh, well, man, let's just put this on real quick. Okay, so that's how that looks like. And I'm doing it like up close to my face because I don't wanna mess it up. I'm trying to be very careful careful on lining it up so I don't mess it up so yeah just give me a sec and let me put on the rest of these all right so I'm back and I put all the stickers on and I don't know about you guys man but when I'm putting like these very very tiny stickers on like this like you know like stuff like this where it's like very small I get very nervous and I end up like shaking you know like I'm trying to go on there and trying not to mess it up I put it on and then I peeled it back off because I messed up but anyway um they're on they look okay like I don't think they look that bad but yeah that's how that looks like and that's how Eevee looks like and yeah it's super cute super adorable um let me know what you guys think of this like do you like it you know would you get one would you buy one i don't think they're that expensive you know probably less than 20 dollars i don't know man i have to look it up because like i said i got this as a gift from a friend and yeah it's a very cute gift and a pretty cute souvenir if you do go to japan and you want to bring back souvenirs for friends you know model kits they're fun and you know i think it'll be like a good gift for like a kid you know like if you want to bond with them and put it together you know like as a bonding experience or even just like a souvenir for like a friend a pokemon fan um they're very cute they're very cool so yeah this is how this looks like you know let me know your thoughts what do you think of it would you buy one for yourself you know drop a comment and of course if you want to see more videos like this you know let me know but yeah thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one right peace out